A common refrain that you'll hear when you put yourself out there as an atheist activist is that you're ignoring all the good shit that religion does. People will admit that, yes, religion is capable of inspiring bad actions and is often used to disguise ill intentions. But if you're going to be intellectually honest about it, you have to weigh all of that against the good that it does. And up until now, I've usually dismissed that argument by pointing out that there are no good aspects of religion. Right? At best, religion offers moonshine. It might occasionally reflect the inner light of a good person, but it can't create light of its own. But it occurred to me the other day that there might actually be a roundabout exception that I've been missing, though I doubt it's one that religious apologists are going to be in a hurry to embrace. Like, you know how everybody's God always feels the same way as they do about everything? Yeah, I mean, I've seen the quote attributed to pretty much every historical smart person, but I think it was originally Voltaire who said, God created man in his own image and man has been trying to repay the favor ever since. More to the point is the famous quote from American novelist Anne Lamott, you can safely assume you've created God in your own image when it turns out that God hates all the same people that you do. And therein lies the elusive benefit to religion. See, when a person gets to sub in the first person pronoun with the Lord Almighty, they end up telling you way more about themselves than they mean to. Without realizing it, they're basically telling us exactly what they would do if they had omnipotence and nobody to answer to. And that's useful because it's all too rare that bigots announce themselves by saying, hello, I'm a bigot. But as soon as they tell you that their God doesn't much care for this subgroup or that other one, they might as well have. Does your God want me to fear him? Is he an angry God? Will he condemn me for eternity? Will he one day return to wipe out all the non-believers and drown them in tribulations and bridal high pools of blood? Does he only help those who help themselves? Does he ignore the prayers of those who don't believe in him? I mean, it already says plenty about a person that they would worship a deity with any of those flaws and that a part of that worship would be to hold it up as the ideal being that we should all emulate. But it actually goes way deeper than that. By disguising their own desires as those of an all-powerful dictator, they've circumvented all the boundaries that society has imposed on their opinions. They don't hate gay people or interracial couples or whatever the bigotry du jour is because they're still bounded by the social contract. God can rise above all that bullshit and just hate whoever he wants. Now, you might hear this and think that it absolves an awful lot of religious people. After all, if you ask religious people who God is, the answer you'll most often hear isn't about, you know, his short temper or his eternal torture chamber. They'll say that God is about unconditional love. And, you know, sure, that's better than hating the queers, I guess, but it's not exactly complimentary. I mean, it's nice to love and care about everybody, but it's pretty fucked up to think that that's enough. And sure enough, the people most likely to spout on about how God is love are also the ones most likely to tell you about the mission they went on in Mexico back in 2006 when their charitable nature is challenged. Loving thy neighbor isn't enough. You also have to help the motherfucker from time to time. But if you tell me that your God loves everybody unconditionally but still gives some of them cancer, you're telling me you think those two things can coincide in the same entity. And... You're telling me that you think you can love the people less fortunate than yourself without doing a goddamn thing to help them. What is love then? And, and, and what about the person whose God has a plan for everybody? The person whose God never gives anybody more than they can handle? Well, they're probably just telling you what a manipulative, meddling motherfucker they wish they could be. And they're definitely telling you that they think it's okay to dole out just as much misfortune as a person can handle. And of course, the person whose God checks people's hubris with adversity is usually the one most vocally supporting a punitive justice system with long prison terms. So yeah, I'll begrudgingly admit that religion actually does have one useful benefit to society. It's a great shortcut to knowing exactly what kind of asshole you're dealing with.